Hello YouTube, it is I, the Amazing Carrier of Solstice, with another tutorial video. And today I'm going to be showing you how to set up and configure how to install Unreal Gold and Unreal Tour Tournament 2000, not 2000, um, Unreal Tournament 1999 under Windows, under Windows 11. So without further ado, let's start with Unreal Gold, which by the way, I do legally own these physical copies of these. So let's see where I, do I have it, where do I want it? I already have the folders created here. For where I want to install these. No, need for DirectX 11 and DirectX 7. In fact, I should load each and one of these games in DirectX 7 mode. So, yeah, yeah, I have like up to date versions of uh, Chaotic UT and uh, Rocket Arena. Yes, Rocket Arena was an Unreal Tournament mod. So, the first thing that I'm going to do before running um, Unreal Tournament, because in order for me to patch it, I must run it first. But first, I want to add the games um, Unreal Gold and Unreal Tournament to the um, support list, to the uh, firewall until um, our wonderful illustrious program here my firewall utility not, not my firewall utility, the firewall utility that I'm using I, sh I should rather say to um, either not flag it because we're not going to have a lot of fun if it does do this so I want it to um, 
needs custom rule set. So this is something you have that you that you have to do, or else you're either not going to get internet, you no know, networking, multiplayer stuff ain't going to work right, or it's just not going to boot up outright boot up. So the thing that we have to do here is that we have to add these to the permissions trusted and so you either do this or you disable your uh, or or if you're running or if you're running the windows firewall just disable the windows firewall otherwise i'll show you how to disable stuff in the windows firewall so you go to control you know you go to your start you go to your uh, settings you go to um privacy and uh security firewall and this is where you disable disable your uh, windows firewall but since I'm using Komodo Firewall, you need to disable it on all three of these. You need to disable the Windows Firewall on all three of these entries. I don't need I don't need to disable anything. I'm just using a third-party firewall utility, which works best for what we're about to do. So the first thing I'm going to do is load Unreal Tournament. Uh, 1999, Game of the Year edition, to be exact, of that, of that, of Unreal Tournament, 1999, we're going to run it. Now we can select any renderer, the direct 3D renderer. We, we have more renderers here, 3DFX Voodoo Glide, but the one I'm going to choose is the DirectX 7 renderer. And then I'm going to patch it and then load it again. It's gonna run like crap. If I uh, don't, let's uh, change that. Let's hope it doesn't uh, give me some weird. Ah. Gonna do that. <laughs> yeah, this is not exactly compatible with Windows 10. Release. So it's just gonna do some weird stuff. And so now we can go ahead and patch the, the game with those files that are on our desktop. So I'm going to just install patch version 436 first before I install the, we're going to do H. See the file, so we need to direct to the UT99 disk 1. And there you go, now we're done with that. And then the next patch will be this. And then let's just run it again. With the, uh, let's run it again with the, um, with the DirectX uh, 7, ren Direct 3D 7 renderer. Which is really kind of interesting to see what this game looks like. With high res texture, with the high res textures that came with the Game of the Year edition, which you won't get on your Steam release. So here you go. In 2291, in an attempt to control violence among deep space miners, the new Earth government legalized no-holds-barred fighting. 
the Andrew Mining Corporation working with the NEG established a series of leagues and bloody public exhibitions. The fight's popularity grew with their brutality. Soon, Leandri discovered that the public matches were their most profitable enterprise. The professional league was formed. A cabal of the most violent and skilled warriors in known space selected to fight in a grand tournament. Now it is 2341. Fifty years have passed since the founding of Deathmatch. Profits from the tournament number in the hundreds of billions. You have been selected to fight in the professional league by the Leandro Rules Board. Your strength and brutality are legendary. The time has come to prove you are the best. To crush your enemies. To win the tournament. Are you like, yeah, that Vortex 5. I wonder if that's a reference to the All Real Vortex 2. But many of you who probably played this game back in the day probably know what the All Real Vortex 2 was. A very interesting sound card in indeed. So now the first things that I'm going to do is install, um, I'm going to install Rocket Arena. But before I do that, I want to look the um, look at the file. What is the name of the map file that we're going to probably want want to kind of check this before I do this because I'm going to demonstrate something to you with this game that you've never been told. So I'm going to show you how to load map files from the console. So I'm going to install Rocket Arena. And then Chaotic UT. And then I'm going to install... And then I'm going to install, um... That, um... I'm going to install Operation Napoli, which is a um, custom, which is a custom campaign. So what? There is a copy of my desktop right there. There you go. So there you go. Now I've got it all right there. Is chaotic UT full? <laughs> and so I wanted to install these first before I even patched it to the latest version, before I even patched on real tournament to the latest version so that way if it you know just be absolutely sure I mean this should already uh, be allowed that's not what I want to load where is Operation Ap Napoli there it is I'm going to install Going to install um, this. First, I want to install the old school mod. Then, Operation Na Pali. Na Pali, pa di di di, pa di di ba wa. Ba 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 Yeah, I'm gonna clean my uh, recycle bin. Yeah, I'm probably gonna. Let's hope. Let's hope Mickey Mouse doesn't sue me. Ho 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 ho! 
They're probably definitely going to sue me now. You know, now we're done. Now we can update um, Unreal Tournament 1999 with old Unreal's um, UT99 patch. Run unlimited. Allow. Because this patch gives us a DirectX 9 uh, renderer. But it will also allow us to run. But it will also allow us to run. Um, but it will also allow us to run. Direct 3D. Now I need to copy this out of this folder because it's actually shared among Unreal Tournament 1999 and Unreal Gold. I mean, they share. And in order to use this particular patch with Unreal Gold, this patch, the uh, Direct 3D patch, you must have version 227i. You cannot use anything. You cannot use version. You cannot use version 227h. You most definitely will not be able to use version 227g. Wait, but that's wrong. For we install you Unreal Tournament. So, make sure if you use this with Unreal Gold, that it is um, version 227i. Cannot stress that enough. So let's um, copy, um, let's go here and copy the HD stuff. So we can just listen to more on real music.
And now I'm going to be copying over the, um... And now I'm going to be copying over the, um... The... The other files and whatnot. Like, the other... Uh, texture stuff. Including the normal height maps. In addition to the uh, HD texture. So, this engine... Is really cool. And I hope they actually do a newer version of Unreal... Of the um, Unreal Gold patch. This is going to be cool. So now we have installed the latest and greatest textures. Now I'm going to do the um, normal texture the normal and height maps. So that way we have proper uh, DirectX 11 compatibility. And, um, and this is mainly for my own benefit. Yep. That's basically what I'm playing right now for the music. So let's see. Where is Unreal Tournament? And we're going to take a look at Unreal Tournament using the DirectX um, 9 renderer. In 2291, in an attempt to control violence among deep space miners, the new Earth government legalized no-holds-barred fighting. The Andrew Mining Corporation, working with the NEG, established a series of leagues and bloody public exhibitions. The fight's popularity grew with their brutality. Soon, Leandri discovered that the public matches were their most profitable enterprise. The Professional League was formed. A cabal of the most violent and skilled warriors in known space selected to fight in a grand tournament. Now it is 2341. Fifty years have passed since the founding of Deathmatch. Profits from the tournament number in the hundreds of billions. You have been selected to fight in the Professional League by the Leandre Rules Board. Your strength and brutality are legendary. The time has come to prove you are the best. To crush your enemies. To win the tournament.
And now let's um, let's actually run the um, the uh, DirectX. Um, and now let's let's uh, run the DirectX um, eleven stuff. The renderer, the DirectX eleven renderer. In 2291, in an attempt to control violence among deep space miners, the new Earth government legalized no holds barred fighting. The Andrew Mining Corporation, working with the NEG, established a series of leagues and bloody public exhibitions. The fight's popularity grew with their brutality. Soon, Leandri discovered that the public matches were their most profitable enterprise. The professional league was formed. A cabal of the most violent and skilled warriors in known space selected to fight in a grand tournament. Now it is 2341. Fifty years have passed since the founding of Deathmatch. Profits from the tournament number in the hundreds of billions. You have been selected to fight in the professional league by the Leandre Rules Board. Your strength and brutality are legendary. The time has come to prove you are the best. To crush your enemies. To win the tournament. Ain't that cool? What? It looks so much better, doesn't it? And so the next game that we're going to be doing is on real gold. So the first thing that I'm going to do so I'm going to go to um, probably run on real gold first because you know we got we can take a look at what that game looked like back in the day.
And so I will be right back. I probably I'm gonna go eat and then we'll be back and then we'll start doing this stuff for Unreal Unreal Gold next. And so now I that I have eaten now I like we can continue with this. Now we're gonna be doing Unreal Gold. So the first thing I do is create a folder. That will basically be the folder I uh, copy all the files that I'm going to need before I do the installation of the patch. Because this is going to be the stuff I copy after I patch it. So while that continues, more music.
and now it's time to install the patch. So, 
so now we're gonna I'm gonna see if find that map file if it doesn't load. Might be a good idea to find that. So but before we do that, I'm going to show you how to change your um controls but let's find the file. I think it's unreal. That I should have local. That's the name of the castle flyby. I'm going to go to user. And I'm going to show you guys how to change your commands. For movement. Let's find the other one. Up. And we're going to find... W. So it's move forward. We've already been... Uh, It's already been done, so wow. Actually, already done, did it? Cool. No, don't save, but it's already been done. Cool. Let's see if Unreal. Let's see if um, Unreal um, Tournament has already had it done. Yep. That needs to have it done to it. Let's look at the default settings. Look at the default. So. A def default user and see if that see that hasn't been done yet so this is the game we're probably going to have to do do this to so what I'm going to do <coughs> look for uh, move move forward I'm gonna take this make this W We're gonna find S. We're gonna make that. <clears throat> We're gonna make S Z. Or X. So that way we don't have to find uh let's find uh move full backward <clears throat> make that s like s strafe Left will be A straight right will be D. So essentially, what we have done here is that we have actually f changed them through the config file. That's one way of doing it. But now that I know that file is called Unreal. Let's try it again. And see if we don't get the file, we'll load on wheel that UNR.
Ain't that cool what? Let's see if we can load it. And it'll load let's see if it'll load that. I want it to load. I'm gonna add pin these to my start. While I'm at it. Let's just load on real. Hopefully it plays that file. If not Let's try the um, DirectX um, 11 driver. <clears throat> With OpenAL. 